Welcome everyone. In this video I'm going to share some tips and tricks with you regarding this DC-DC uh, buck converter. So uh, you can see this product everywhere if you are searching for DC-DC converter. And uh, it is because it is very popular uh, due to its price. So this is relatively cheap and uh, more or less uh, reliable product. Uh, but Sometimes you can have some problems with it if you don't use it properly. So what this does, it, uh, it takes some uh, power on the input that should be between, let's say, 4 to 40 volts, uh, the input voltage. But they recommend at least 10 volts as the minimum uh, voltage. I guess that's because of the efficiency of the conversion. And then on the output, uh, you can have your uh, regulated voltage and current. And the way you regulate the voltage and the current is uh, that you change the resistance of these trimmer potentiometers. They are uh, 100 kilo ohm uh, potentiometers. So that's what this uh, 104 uh, stands for. And you can see that there is a text uh, CV and CC. So one is for the current and one is for the uh, voltage. So you can regulate both of these things with this. But you have all, you always have to make sure that uh, your input power is always much higher than uh, the power that you want to have on the output. Otherwise, uh, this will just not work uh, properly. Uh, there is also a switch, so you can uh, switch this thing on and off. And there is an LED light which indicates that this thing works. And you can see in between the heat sinks, so on each side you have a MOSFET. I cannot really read the uh, type of it. And then the buck converter is basically this uh, chip on the bottom. And uh, why I make this video is because you can see some parts here. So I have another uh, older uh, buck converter. This actually failed me. So I had uh, some issues with it, but it's... Uh, relatively the same. Actually, this looks a bit more cheap and worse than, than this guy here. You can see the connections are not the best and this looks more cleaner. But uh, it's basically the same uh, stuff. But what I want to show you is the following. So as you can see that uh, I removed the trimmer potentiometers here because uh, we can replace them. So here are the removed uh, potentiometers. Uh, this just there is a screw here and you turn the screw, change the uh, resistance of this uh, circuit element and then you change the output voltage and output uh, current by changing each of these. But uh, I want to show you how it works. So actually there is not too many things to talk about because uh, you have the drawing here. But I can show you that uh, you can change uh, the resistance. So I hope that uh, you can see the screen somewhat, let's say like this. So I, I just uh, demonstrate that this works. So we are at 83 kilo ohms and then I start to turn this uh, thing. And then of course it's changing. But the problem with this trimmer is that uh, of course it's very precise because uh, there are many turns in it, but then it's a pain in the ass and also not so safe to have a uh, let's say metal uh, screwdriver and then just poke around this uh, let's say live circuit and uh, try to change your output so what you can do is uh, you can see that this works uh, you can get another type of uh, potentiometer you can have this uh, viper or uh, viper type of potentiometer as well it's up to your uh, taste this is like a very very cheap and uh, easy to use uh, pot meter so you can replace uh, the ones which are in this circuit board with these and then you can uh, put everything in a housing as I did it with my uh, power supply. So this can be attached to the front panel and then you can see uh, you can change the current and the voltage much more safer and much more easily. So you can get rid of these. And then uh, instead of that, you can just use these. And uh, the way you attach them is relatively simple. 
so you can uh, find uh, all the three connections easily like which is the ground which is the like output uh, of the of the uh, potentiometer and then which is the uh, positive side and what i want to uh, mention again here that there is a slight difference in these uh, two circuits and for me it's very surprising so uh, one interesting difference is that uh, this guy here uh, doesn't have the type of the chip here so someone scraped off the numbers but here I can see it so it's an LM251116 this is the type of the DC DC converter and then another thing is that here you can see a tiny uh, capacitor on the uh, circuit board and here you don't have it I actually have it here on the tip of my finger so this was actually soldered uh, on one of these uh, connections so the uh, trimmers these blue guys were soldered in and then this uh, SMD capacitor was directly soldered on these uh, blobs here so that's not a so nice uh, solution but then this is very nice so it has its own dedicated uh, spot so maybe there are differences between cheap and cheap uh, devices uh, as well but uh, if you for example look at the fins of the heatsink this is more bulkier and I can I can feel that okay despite these screws but still uh, this is a bit uh, heavier so that's another let's say interesting thing that uh, this is cheaper or no sorry so this is a worse uh, assembly but uh, still it seems to be a bit better in in some things such as the cooling so you can see that uh, this this might be like slightly slightly larger so what I'm going to do now is I just uh, desolder these and now you can see the drawing here so we can have like a picture of this and we can memorize it so we can actually solder in this in the same manner and as you can see I already scratched in some uh, marks here so I can remember what is what but basically that's the same way as we uh, solder in these uh, two guys so nothing fancy and uh, what I can suggest to you is that uh, you take the middle which is basically the output of the uh, pot meters and then you just use them with different colors so you can make sure that let's say the yellow will uh, regulate the voltage and the green will uh, gray will regulate the current so I just solder these uh, these two things quickly I insert these things in the PCB and then I come back and I see if it works so as you can uh, see I have removed one of the uh, pot meters here I want it to go step by step so first I just removed the voltage regulator pot meter and I replaced it with this one uh, which I will use for the power supply and as you can see so on the top I have the black wire and in the middle I have the gray wire which is the output of the pot meter and then here uh, on that bottom so closer to the connections of the output I have the uh, red wire so if you see then uh, the black goes up and then this goes there in the middle of course and then the red goes down this is how I uh, did it and now I, I will just uh, change this for you and uh, my input uh, voltage is around 10 watts so I cannot go above that but uh, I can go down and uh, set uh, some voltage so you can see it works and it holds the set value like, yeah, quite precisely so only the last uh, digit is changing so this is uh, pretty nice so I'm done with this part and uh, what I'm going to do now is I replace the 
other uh, current regulator uh, potentiometer and see if we can regulate the uh, things with that as well. So I added the second uh, potentiometer here. It's a bit uh, messy with the cables, but what I did now is that I attached the load, which is a Peltier device here. It's a six ampere device. And I'm measuring the current running through this uh, circuit uh, with this uh, Peltier in it. So I set the power supply to 14 volts and uh, now we can see that half ampere is running through this device and I can feel it that it's slightly uh, cold and the heat sink is getting warmer on the other side. So now I just uh, increase the current and then see what happens. So now I started to turn and you can see I, I just uh, try to turn it slowly. So now it's 1.2 amperes and uh, now uh, we need to turn the voltage as well because that's also on the minimum that you can see now 2.7 this is getting very cold and I guess I can go yeah until 6 so it's going up nicely but I turn it off because I guess it's getting hot on the other side so it works everything is very nice so basically I just turn off this power supply here and you can see that uh, there is no uh, current running through the circuit. So what I wanted to do is just uh, this uh, small uh, demonstration that you can easily replace uh, these very very small and uh, clumsy uh, trimmer potentiometers and you can have your own uh, any type of uh, pot meters and uh, it's it's not a big deal to solder this so maybe it took me like 10 minutes to do this full job so that's not a big time and it's uh, more comfortable to access uh, the pot meters and more safe because you don't have to use any kind of tools nearby the live uh, circuit so i hope that this video was useful for you and you could learn something from this and see you in the next video